Hello, my name is Abdul, and uh, <clears throat> and I like making YouTube videos. <laughs> this is a completely new text-to-speech model. It's open source. It's quite amazing. It's nothing like that we have seen before. If you have used Eleven Labs before, this is brilliant stuff, just like that, but open source, where you can just give a text and it can generate audio for you, like the speech for you with actually naturally sounding voices. Like for example, you can add laughter, you can add uh, the um, um, kind of breaks. It's quite amazing. And I wanted to show you in this video how you can use it on Google Colab and also the details about this model itself. The model is called Bark. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually Bark. So there's a company called Suno AI and uh, this company has created this model called Bark. So Bark is a transformer based text to audio model created by Suno. Before I show you this, uh, the first clip that you listen to, it's actually completely AI generated. So you can see here, I've given the text. Hello, my name is Abdul and um, I like making YouTube videos. So I wanted to clear the throat here and I wanted to have a laughter here. So I can go here and then run this. Hello, my name is Abdul and uh, um, and I like making YouTube videos. <laughs> Absolutely. See, um, I like making YouTube videos. So now what is this model? Like I said, this is a transformer based model that can do text to audio. So this is from this company called Suno.ai. So Bar can generate highly realistic multilingual speech as well as audio, including music, background noise and simple sound effect. The model can also produce non-verbal communications like laughing, singing and crying. And let's look at a demo. So what does this demo say? Hello, my name is Suno and uh, uh, I like I like pizza and laughs. And, but I also have other interests like paying, playing tic-tac-toe. Um, let's see what the EA actually does it. Suno. And, uh, and I like pizza. <laughs> but um, I also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. It's uh, super impressive and also it can do multilingual, which means... Oh, I have to enable the audio. Yes, Mikael. Tu collega piensa que tu alemán es extremadamente malo. But I suppose your English is terrible. My English isn't terrible, that's okay. And it can generate music. Oh, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. And it can also do voice cloning. If you are looking for a software that can do cloning, I don't know the legal implications. You cannot use the software or the model for commercial application at this point. So do not think that you can actually build the next deep fake um, um, tool or something, but it can do cloning. That's what that's what they're saying that Bark has the capability to fully clone voices, including tone, pitch, emotion, prosody. The model also attempts to preserve music, ambient noise, etc., from the input audio. However, to mitigate the misuse of technology, we limit the audio history prompts to limited set of Suno provided fully synthetic options to choose from for specific language. So you can see uh, the details here. Like you cannot like literally take um, any celebrity's voice and anybody's voice and clone it. So it's it's quite limited. And uh, it can also do speaker prompts. You can have like women and a man. I have to enable. I would like an omelette latte, please. Wow, that's expensive. And this is all just purely based on the text prompt. So the text prompt is the core here. And let's see how this is actually happening. So what this is doing is, uh, if you have, uh, if you know, sometime back Microsoft released an amazing paper called Wally, um, but the model was never released. So similar to Wally and some other amazing work in the field, Bark uses a GPT style model to generate audio from scratch, completely from scratch. Different from Wally, the initial prompt is embedded into a high-level semantic token without use of the phenomes. So now whatever the prompt that you give that gets translated into high, uh, high level semantic tokens, it can then therefore generalize to arbitrary instructions beyond speech that occur in the training data. And that's how they could actually capture like music, lyrics, sound effects, and all the other things. A subsequent second model is used to convert the generated semantic tokens into audio tokens, audio codec tokens to generate the full waveform. So the, the words become, um, the high level semantic tokens and those high level semantic tokens is then converted into audio form um, using the codec that Facebook had released. 
and it can also do these kind of non speech sounds so far like they have uh, figured it out laughter laugh sighs music gasps clears throat hesitations um song lyrics capitalization for emphasis on the word man and woman so that you know you have the different kind of speaker what are the languages it supports english german spanish french hindi italian japanese korean polish portuguese russian turkish chinese simplified arabic bengali and telugu are coming soon and you have got um, some appreciation here the main thing that you need to notice is bark is licensed under non commercial license cc by 4.0 nc the suno models themselves may be used commercially however this version of bark uses encodec as a neural codec backend which is licensed under a non commercial license please contact us bark at suno.ai if you need access to a larger version of the model or a version of the model that you can commercially use and if you want to use a playground you can go here and sign up for the playground where you don't have to run this entire thing on google collab this is pretty interesting and pretty amazing i would say like i was mind um, my mind was blown when i actually saw this thing so that's why i ended up making the video if you go to the google collab which actually they have given so you can open in hugging face spaces and play with it but as usual there is a huge queue but uh, you can open in collab and then try it it's quite simple the first thing is go to runtime change runtime and then make sure you have got a gpu and uh, install everything like everything that they have given here you have to install the uh, bark torch vision torch audio and also uh, the right cuda version for you and once you install it then all you have to do is from bark import sample rate generate audio the preload models and this is to just display the audio um, in google collab preload the models it takes a bit of time but as you can see like i have successfully managed to run this on free collab then give the text prompt hello my name is abdul um, and then what kind of fillers you want like what kind of non verbal communications you want and i like making youtube videos and then generate the audio using the text prompt take the audio array and then give it to audio so that this actually can play like this let me play this again hello my name, my name is abdul, abdul and, and uh, uh, <laughs> and i like making, I like making youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable if you want you have lot more options in the google collab notebook you can see man and women and all these kind of examples and uh, i would strongly encourage you to play with this if you like this project go ahead start the repository should mean a lot to the developers but we have got the gpt equivalent of text to audio models and it is open source not even though it is not commercial it's not allowed to to use commercially still it is open source i highly appreciate it the team is quite active on github as well so thank you so much suno ai for making this library and making it open source i would love to hear from you how you feel about this new text to audio model see you in another video